For years, Blender has had a video editing interface called the Video Sequence Editor. And you may have not seen it anywhere because it fails to act, uh, to work, in the one main place that you need a video editor to work, and that is footage playback. You kinda need to play back the footage in order to edit it. Now, you may be thinking, yes, it does have footage playback, and you'd be right, it technically does, but it really doesn't play the footage back. It, it takes a while to cache the footage, especially if you're dealing with 4K footage, and it's just not really usable. That is until the newest version of Blender, Blender 2.92, which gave the Blender Video Sequence Editor a huge, massive update, which got me thinking, is the Blender Video Editor now a viable option for video editing, or is it still sort of a halfway video editor? That is what I'm going to explore in this video. I'm going to be talking about the basic interface of the Blender Video Sequence Editor and how to use it, and I'm going to be checking the playback, playback with color grading, and see if it is a usable video editing alternative to something like Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve or Premiere. So I am going to be bringing this clip into Blender's Video Sequence Editor and editing it and seeing if it is usable. So without any further ado, let's go and jump into Blender. Here in Blender, let's go ahead and click on the video editing thing from the splash screen. If you don't have it and you've already clicked off, just click up here, click on splash screen and click on it. And here we have our default Blender interface. Now, first off, let's just go and hit Shift A. You can hit Shift A, or you can just go up here and click Add. I prefer Shift A. Let's click Movie, uh, instead of Image Sequence, Movie to add in a video clip. Now that we have our video clip imported into Blender, um, the very first thing we'll notice is that um, it imported it wherever the playhead is at. So if your playhead is like way out here, it'll import the video here. So anyways, real quick before we jump into the interface, two things I have to complain about in Blender's Video Sequence Editor. There are uh, several things that, you know, they could work on or a bunch of things that they could work on. Um, but uh, two things in particular that I want to complain about. For one, uh, there's no way that I can see that I can connect the audio and the video from the same clip, okay? they're Look, they're just completely, uh, you can just move them separate of each other. And there is, doesn't seem to be a way you can uh, lock them together. See, lock strips just locks them in place right here. They don't lock them together. Uh, and so what one could become like jolted a few frames. Uh, and it's, it's just not going to work that way. It's not working very good, okay? <clears throat> so that's uh, one of the things I hope they'll fix some in some future update. And another uh, aspect is they don't have any set scene frame option. Here, it's just still at the default 250 frames. Uh, and projects are, look, look, this is one video, and here we are at 20, uh, 2,300 frames. We need more than just 250 frames, but for some reason, the default is still 250 frames. So just like in the visual effects tab, I would like a set scene frames like button that we could click and just simply set the scene frames. Very simple to do. But anyways, let's go and jump into the video. So just like any video, all of these panels have a T uh, for toolbar and N for a tab on the very side for a lot of different options down here as well. And down here you have your select tool or your blade tool, okay? Now you can hit shift space and either hit W or K or just click on these. So shift space K would bring up the knife tool, shift space W will bring up the blade tool, okay? Or the move tool. Um, now looking over here, the default is on strip and we have our simple, since we have our audio select instead of our video, we have a simple volume pitch and a lot of different things like this. Uh, and you have the mono option down here, time, source, and just all these this fun stuff. You go down to tool. You don't have anything under tool because you're selected that tool. Um, if I did that, you'd have this different these different types. But anyways, you go into modifiers, and oh, this is only for video. You go into cache, and you can have the cache for your video. And proxy, you can proxy your video too. Now right here, you do have uh, some things... Uh, uh, to, to select. Let's actually turn our waveforms on here. There you go. There's your waveforms. And uh, that looks pretty good. I do like that. Waveforms and Blender is a pretty funny sight. And then let's go to audio and you have a bunch of different things. You have uh, blend mode. You have transform, which is very snappy. Uh, you know, it just instantly starts doing it. You know, it's, it's great. Uh, you know, rotation mirror, it, things like that. You have crop as well to just crop different sides of the frame out. Uh, you have video, which is your strobe. I, I haven't really played around this, with this too much. You have your color, which is very simply your saturation and your multiplying. Okay. Uh, time, source, just like the other one was. Okay. Just like your audio was. 
Now, tool, same thing. Modifiers, here are your simple color grading modifiers that you can uh, color grade with. You know, do all your fancy schmancy color grades. Here's a tutorial uh, for how to color grade in Blender and just, you know, simply do all this stuff uh, that I've already created. So you can check that out if you want to go further into color grading. But these are basically just your color grading tools. You have your cache and your proxy files. So this is just this simply this very thing right here. And you, we can close that out as well. You go up here, hit in. You have uh, frame overlays. You have a safe area. You have scene strip display. You have just annotations, meta, things like that. Not extremely important things, but you have your basic settings here. Now, um, that is your basic breakdown of the interface of Blender's video sequence editor. Now, this is very simple, very easy. Uh, let's just say we want to bring it out here. Oops. Well, about to there um, as well. And uh, so let's start with playing back our footage now that we've gone over the uh, interface. And you can tell it plays back relatively uh, at a correct frame rate up here. And this is usable, definitely usable. But this may not be usable if it we're talking about just a bunch of clips stacked up and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this will really start to bog down. And you can tell because, let's go and select our clip, let's go to modifiers. And let's select, uh, let's just throw a simple uh, color grade on this thing. Uh, let's do that. Let's add in some curve. Okay. So now, when we start playing it back, you'll see the frame rate drastically drops, okay? So, basically what you'll have to do if you're applying a color grade within Blender, you'll have to apply it later on. But see, there's an issue with that. Let's go and all axes all out. If you apply it later on, you have a bunch of clips, you know, selected, okay? You have a bunch of clips locked up and, uh, or excuse me, split up and everything like that. So you need to be able to apply this color grade to all your different clips of, say, me talking right here. You need to apply it to a bunch of different clips. So here's how you do that. Select them both, hit K. K stands for knife, and I'm going to knife it right there. Come down here, knife it right there again. And let's go ahead and, um, say, apply color grade to this very start of it right here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do some crazy and weird. Let's just, just do one for right now. Now you go into here, and these just look completely different. And so we need to match these clips together. Well, first, what we want to do is just select these two, and then shift select this one to make sure the one with our color grade is the active one, the one surrounded white instead of orange. And then click copy to select a clips, and click append. Now, as you can see, we have our same color grade applied on all three of the clips. So you don't need to worry about if you're cutting your clip into a bunch of different sections in the movie clip editor uh, to really, um, uh, you can still color grade them all using one color grade, just like you could in DaVinci Resolve. It's almost just as easy. So going back to what our original intent for this video was, which was to explore and see whether or not this is a viable video option for uh, video editors, um, I would say that it most likely is. Now, you can't really edit very long clips in here, or it probably will start to really just bog your machine down because Blender's uh, VSC right now isn't the best. Um, but yes, you definitely could edit small videos in here, say probably maybe five minutes or something. There are some weird issues like, for some reason, when you go to slide over the position here, it um, it for some reason affects the clip below it. So overall, it, yes, it can be used as a video editing uh, workspace, just you are very limited. Uh, picture it as a more advanced version of, say, Windows Movie Maker. Would you want to use this for it? Uh, I would say no. Um, but you definitely could use it because they're definitely uh, stepping up the quality of the uh, video sequence editor greatly. Um, it's still not the best, but it's definitely usable for a video sequence editor. So that is it for me today and my study on whether or not video the video sequence editor is a usable option for video editing. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys do like this video, click that like button down below to help me rank better on the algorithm and so that more people will see this. Um, if you guys do have any questions or comments, drop them in the comments box down below for more videos on DaVinci Resolve Blender, post-production, CGI filmmaking, those kind of things. Click that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram to see my visual effects and CGI renders results, things of that nature. And I will see you guys in the next video.